It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media and Association with Box Road Bunsi. Just seen Dalton Smith literally turn that fight around. Turn it on its head, would you say? Well, at the first two rounds, if you weren't fearing for Dalton Smith, then there's something wrong with you. He was brilliant tonight as a beat for two rounds. And Dalton started to change it in the third by making him miss. Started to make him pay in the fourth and out Mexican the Mexican in the fifth round. And I tell you, what, don't let anybody tell you that Zabida came here for a payday. Don't let anybody tell you that Zabida's too old. Don't let anybody tell you that Zabida gave up. None of those things are true. He didn't get paid enough money. He's still fresh in boxing terms. He came here, he looked sharp. He knew that a good win over Dalton Smith was going to really help him. And he got out mexican by Dalton Smith. That was a quality class performance. And by the way, not one I predicted. I thought Dalton might nick a points decision, might nick a points decision. That was quality tonight. At any point in the first couple of rounds were you concerned for Dalton because he looked like he, I don't know if he hurt him, but he was he was kind of dominating. It, well, first start, Sapida was that much sharper than Dalton expected. No good, no good me, no good Sapida being sharper than I expected. I wasn't getting hit. He was getting hit to the body, he was getting hit to the head, and what's more, Sapida was cutting the ring down, cutting the ring down, forcing Dalton to make mistakes and really forcing him to, to move constantly. Dalton couldn't settle, but luckily Grant calmed him in the corner. Bit of input from Sonny at ringside, calmed it down, came out in the third, started to turn around. No, I wasn't concerned that Dalton was going to get hurt, beat, knocked out. I was concerned that if Sir Peter kept that up, Dalton would be chasing maybe a six round deficit, and that's hard. I thought it was brilliant the way he turned that fight around. I mean, the last thing he called him out at the end, I didn't expect him to because Dalton normally is quite quiet, but he wants Adam Azim next. He does want Adam Azim next, and I think it would be one of those super fights for us, but you know, in our business, super fights. OK, they have vanished in the past, but they've also got bigger in the past. They can get bigger. And I believe, in my personal opinion, that Adam Azim against Dalton Smith down the line is a big fight. People keep saying to me, well, what about James DeGaulle and, 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 what, about, and what about George Gross? That's great, but neither of those, neither of those were getting the money, neither of those were getting the exposure that these two, Azim and, and Dalton Smith, are getting. This is a much bigger fight than that. Well, sure, it sold 20,000. Don't get me wrong, it was a big fight. I'm not underselling that fight. But it's a different business we're in now. Would George Groves, with 9 or 10 fights or 11 fights, fight James DeGaulle now, an Olympic gold medalist with 10 fights? No. Under no circumstances would those two meet now. They did whatever it was 15 years ago. Different business. Now we're in a different business. Azim, against Dalton, it will happen one day, but it ain't happening in August, it ain't happening in November, and I don't think, it may not even happen next year, it might happen one day, but it's not soon. If it doesn't, um, in fact, if it does happen, Bunsi, does Adam Azim take any confidence from the way uh, Zabida fought tonight? Hey, listen, he'll, he'll be thinking, you know, I'm not going to fade after three rounds, after two rounds, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep going at him, keep putting him under pressure, keep pushing him back, keep letting my fast hands go. Yeah, Adam Azim will be at home saying, I told you I could beat him, now I know I can beat him. And Dalton will be in his dressing room saying, if I tell you what, if I catch Adam Azim with that, I'll knock him spark out. That's what makes it down the road such a great fight. Once you appreciate your time, I think uh, Barry's free now, so uh, catch you soon, brother. I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals.